coming in. Eckhart the cleansing. Uh, it's so loud. Oh, there's one behind me. Oh. God damn it, okay. I uh, wasn't expecting that. Now I know that there's one behind me. Okay, good thing I found them healing potions. Come at me! You're a tough one, aren't you, compared to the others? Yeah, you are a toughie. Holy crap, yeah, he's tough compared to the others, and I just fell through the stairs uh, and the world. Uh -huh. Oh god, it's saved here. What the hell? What the hell? The path is not clear around Fiel. There's a giant thing there shooting lightning at us. Ah, oh, fuck. Okay, I'm gonna have to reload that one because we are stuck in an infinite loop of death. I can't see what this, what these people are swinging on because he's spewing his magic shit all over me. Alright, now you guys go and fight that guy up there. He hurts. Oh god, there's more. Okay. It was probably a bad idea coming up here. Oh my goodness me. Why game are you doing this? Why make it so hard now when there's so many... I thought this would be a quick battle, but no. I mean, I'm going to talk about what happened last time. Alright. Now kill that lightning spewing bastard. Can't even see him. Where is he? Oh, he's there. Now I'm stuck. Everything bad is happening right now. Okay, wow. Right. We're making progress. Still hard to save, because we're making good progress. Oh, that is a big fucker right there. What was up with that big guy? He was huge. Look at him. He's a big one. First a dragon priest boss and then we get a giant. This game's cheating. Giant dead? Okay, the giant's dead. 
Now finish off that one. Okay, he's done. Oh, there's another one. My goodness me, game. Okay, let's try and kill these archers. Oh, has got the right idea. Kill the fodder. Luckily, I don't think they do much damage. Okay, they're dead. Now he's got this guy left. Let's do another save. No, he's gonna kill me. He's gonna kill me. I'm stuck. Can't retreat. Retreat. Die. Oh my god. Okay, healing. Give me the oranges and save. Yes, please. Oh, damn. Right, okay. So, yeah. What happened last time there? So, basically, he... Aranfio is sort of the cause of all this, like he sort of set the events in motion, I guess is a good way of saying it. He had a bastard son with the Lightborn. Quickly now, to the gate. Garage. It's locked. What do we do? Yeah, he had a bastard son with the Lightborn. We will break it open. And do you see the ballista up there? Keep a Sakarish. Where? You. Wait. Do you feel that? Oh, now what? Why the name of the what the fuck is going on now? Really? 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 I can't move. Well, yeah, anyway. He had a bastard son with the Lightborn, which was like half demigod, half human, in a way, I think. Wait, he's moving. Yes. And yes, he didn't. Good. He neglected his us. son, and his son hated him and the Lightborn, and caused him to kill the Lightborn. What? What happened? You were hit by a piece of debris, but we are safe, at least for the moment. That's Carlia. The dragon. What about the dragon? Where is it? His attack brought down the entire facade, but it also cut him off from us. Where's Carlia? He will not be able to get inside here. What about Carlia? Where is she? The building came down on top of her. There was nothing we could do. I know how close you were. I'm sorry. But we have to search for yes, her. Yes, and we will. But to do that, we need to find another way out of this place. So, no matter what else we do, we first have to go deeper into the temple. So what now? What do we do? We finish this. That arrogant display of the High Ones was a bluff. They are afraid of us, and this puppet show out there was their last trump card. But they have failed. We're here, and we are close. All that matters now is that we summon the High One and take the Numinos from him. Then. It is over. Thank the gods, your injuries are only superficial. Just try to keep up. Oh, fuck my life. What a win. End of time. I mean, there are a lot of Pyreans here who died, like, at the end. I mean, look how many, there's just so many bodies around. Yes. So many bodies around. It's, it's good, though. It's a good way of symbolizing just how many people died at the end of the Pyrean and the cleansing. What a waste of time. So this was like their temple. God damn. Oranges don't do much, do they? There we go. Now keep me good. All 
Alright, where are we now? Kiraj, did you see that? Interesting. That must be the Echo. We are so close to where the last cleansing happened that not only the Prophet sees it, but we do as well. So Jackal's army must have uh, overran the temple and started killing everyone. I thought this may have been the place we need to go, but apparently we have to go even further in. God damn, they're everywhere, aren't they? But the weird thing is, like, everyone's like carrying fear. Everyone's looking this way, like towards the temple. So whatever happened, like must have happened at the heart of the temple or wherever we're going it's like that must be where it originated from <laughs> yeah wherever we're headed now must be where it all started because everyone's like cowering fear in this direction so there must be some type of light or something that just came at them some people went and cowered down and others you know were running towards the half of the temple where they thought it was safe and then some others were obviously cowering i mean yeah because i mean people are running away from jackal's army and stuff like that what the hell you will not stop us now So they were trying to defend the beacon. Oh, is this is this their version of the beacon, or is it just the light? May have been just a light. Oh, it could have been the beacon actually. Wait, actually, yeah, this must be their version of the beacon. They got like pedestals and stuff. That may have been where like the black stones went for them. Oh, never mind. This is the beacon. Okay, well, it looks like we're here. Let's do a save here. There it is. The beacon. By the gods, how similar they are. Charim, do you have the word of the dead with you? Yes. Good. Dolstein. Place it in front of the beacon. And prepare yourself. Prophet. It is now up to you. Somehow you must recall the moment when the last cleansing happened. If Yaela's theory is right, this is the only way to get our hands on something close to a physical form of a high one. And how exactly should I do that? I can't control the echo. No, but maybe you can somehow lure it. According to all that you have told me so far, the Echo seems to react to things or situations connected to the cycle. Take a look around and see if you can find something. Alright, I'll see what I can do. Give me some time. Alright. Fragments of an Echo? Like maybe this dull stone? The beacon was created to banish the High Ones from existence, but to do that, we need something from them. Okay, so that's referenced in the evidence that we need to get the higher one. They are similar to magic, or the power responsible for the tides. They are pure energy. So they're pure energy. He has betrayed us! Jakal opened the gates and now they're killing everyone! Okay. The core of this sickness is in people's heads. It is a way of thinking. But you will never understand that, High Priest, will you? Okay, I guess now it's Jakul talking then. It was almost as if the beacon longed for the stones. They are the key. I feel it. 
None of this helps me. Oh. Okay, so my game froze up for a sec for, for there. God, this this whole like last like run that I've been doing, I've been just having which very strange issues. First, I had like the same song playing over and over again. Then I had that subtitles glitch out. Now I had my game just, just straight out freeze, so we're just going to activate this last stone here. For the stones, they are the key. I feel it. And hopefully my game doesn't freeze up again. I think because I was moving around a lot, so I'm just going to look at the beacon and stand completely still. Food. We have made it. How are you feeling, Prophet? Luring the echo like that, it must have strained you. It has, but I'll cope. This place, it feels peculiar. It does, indeed. We are in the consciousness of a past civilization. Do you see that up there? Yaela was right after all. This is our Numinas, the essence of a High One. Raya, I wish you could see this. God, this place is weird. It's creepy. Doesn't the higher one feel that we're here? Why doesn't it do anything? We are in his thoughts. What could you do against that? Time does not exist here. At least not as we know it. So what now? How do we get the essence inside the container? We will see about that. Maybe that question will answer itself. Shari, do it. Carry the container to the essence. As you command, Baron Theon. Oh god, he's gonna die. Or is it just gonna be all okay? I guess we'll, I guess we'll find out. Oh, okay. What is it? What are you waiting for? Tell me, Baron Theon. Oh god. Back in the ruins, when the High One showed you that memory. It was the first time I saw you express real agitation. Not anger, but agitation. What you did to your son, do you regret it, I wonder? That you abandoned him in exchange for prestige and power. What? I don't think you do. What got to you was being reminded of your own failure. Regret? You don't know that feeling. You never have. Not even after Kira. What are you? I hired the mercenaries. I killed the Shari when she found out. And I helped the Neramese conquer the harbor. And I bet you still don't have the slightest idea who I am, do you? Why? You were there. The night of a thousand fires. Yes. I survived your massacre. One of only a few. Then you did not follow my son because you shared his ideals. 
You did it to get to me. What for you now? Justice? Justice. I am done with this world, I reveal. I have been for a long time now. The only reason why I'm still here is a promise I made to someone. The promise that one day, I will be the one who takes everything from you. You sir, this is madness. Whatever you are planning to do, it will affect the whole world, not just me. If you want my death, why not just wait, damn it? Once we have lit the beacon, Korak will kill me. That way, all those innocent lives oh, will be... please just shut up! You take me for such a fool? As if there's anything in this world you would want more than to die a martyr! Teolor Arathiel, conqueror of the High Ones, savior of mankind. You like the sound of that, don't you? You like it so, so much. No. At first, I was so frustrated with all the setbacks. When the Prophet saved Lishari's research in Aldrashengrad, and when Quareg's first attack on the city didn't succeed. But then I realized that all of this would be so much more gratifying than anything else I could do to you. Your final attempt, and so close to your target, only to fail by my hand. You asked me once what my daughter's name was. Do you remember? Yes, I beg you, please. Lena. Her name was Lena. I never did quite trust trust him. He was sketchy ever since the Shira died, and he suddenly appeared in her room. Like that was, that's what made me a bit suspicious of him in the first place. You, you fool, miserable, selfish fool! You killed us all. Impressive, Arathiel. You really were close. A shame that you were too preoccupied with yourself to see it coming. Beast! You damn beast! He was possessed! Possessed from the start! Oh no, Arantheo. I am afraid that is only half true. We reap, but you sowed. Of course we possessed him. But you did all the heavy lifting back in Kira, when you gave the order to massacre everyone dear to him, including his wife and his poor, poor daughter. And so, it is a happy ending after all, isn't it? Without the Marinos, you have nothing to use the Beacon's power on. And the only thing it is good for now is the destruction of your own beloved city. It will be a feast, and there will be nothing left of you once we devoured you. Nothing but cold, gray flesh. It is just as we said. You have failed as you always have done. What is it, Arantheo? Lost your tongue? No. <laughs> no. I have not. Not at all. You have just presented me with a solution. Are you deaf? There is no solution. The cleansing will happen, and you will all die. Yes. Yes, we will. Your messiah, the citizens of the city, the armies, we will all burn like the sun. And then, it will be over. You're fantasizing, Arathiel. Without... Not this time. Okay. Here we must go our separate ways. Believe me, I wish it were otherwise. But in your condition, you would just be a burden. 
and I cannot afford any risks. I'm sorry. What are you talking about? What are you planning? The High Ones are right. We cannot use the beacon to banish them anymore. But do you remember what the Archmagister said? Without the Numinos, the beacon's energy would burst out without direction. Yes, which is why we went to find the Numinos in the first place. Lighting the beacon without it would only... Cause a massive explosion, yes. And that is the only thing we can do for mankind now. Koarek was and is essential to the High One's plan. Whatever shape the actual cleansing takes, he wants to make sure it will happen. And we, Prophet, we may have failed in breaking the cycle for ourselves, but not for the others. The others? The other people of this world. Arazia, Kira, Kile. They're affected by the cycle as much as Enderal. And I know that there must be people like us. People who have had the same dreams and feel what is about to happen. And if we kill Koarek and his armies, we buy these people time. Time to gather knowledge. Time to build a new beacon. And time to light it themselves. I don't think it works like that. So you want to blow up the beacon, but what about the sea? What about all the people who would die? That, what you just said is completely stupid. It, it won't work like that. Those whom the Nerimis have not yet massacred anyway, you mean? They will die, as you and I will. But they will do so for mankind's salvation. And this is something worth dying for. It is the only way, don't you see? Either we die here, rotting with the Pyrians, or we choose to give our death meaning by at least stopping this fanatic Korak and his armies. The High Ones are a lot weaker than they pretend to be. I feel it. We were so close to destroying them. And I have faith in the others out there who will fight them. They will succeed where this scum Sharim made us fail. Wait, have you lost your mind? We you can't put a death sentence over all Enderol just for some vague hope. These people, they trusted you, Aranthia. So, a shepherd cannot decide the fate of his sheep. What is this really about, Prophet? Your life? The life of this woman who's so dear to you? Now is not the time for arrogance and selfishness. All of this is about more than just us. That you fail to see this disappoints me, Prophet. I thought better of you than that. But it does not matter anymore. I've made my choice. I am sorry. Oh, you fool, Ramfield. You're an idiot.